Hello YouTube, it's Jesse Curris with a video on Security Onion and its new script to add Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, or simply Elk, to its already extensive list of capabilities. This project is in a testing phase and only works in evaluation mode. We're going to cover how to configure Security Onion properly for this purpose, how to download and run the Elk installation script, and how to look at Kibana which will provide a visualization for Bro and IDS logs. We'll be starting with a freshly installed and updated VM of Security Onion. For instructions on how to install Security Onion, please refer to my earlier videos. In order to work properly for this script, the VM requires two CPU cores, four gigs of RAM, 20 gigs of storage, one management interface with internet access, and one sniffing interface that is separate from the management interface. As you can see in my VM settings, the aforementioned configurations are set properly. To get started, click Setup. Yes. Yes. I'm choosing ETH0 for my management interface. DHCP since it's evaluation mode. Yes. OK. Make changes. Reboot. Once the reboot is finished, click Setup again. Yes. Yes. Evaluation mode. This is very important, otherwise the ELK script will not run. ETH1 to be monitored. Set your squeal username. This will also be your Kibana and Squirt username. Set a password. Yes, to proceed with the changes. Now we're going to download and install the script to install ELK. With the terminal open, type wget, paste the URL for the shell script, enter, type sudo bash in the name of the shell script, enter, type agree in all caps and enter. This will begin the installation. Once the script has run its course, check to make sure all of your services are up by typing sudo sostat pipe to less. As you can see here, all the services are up and there's no failures present. Now let's check which data sources are accessible with Elasticsearch by typing the following curl command. As you see here, we have IDS and Bro Logs. In order to open Kibana, open up a web browser and type in the following. HTTPS, localhost, app, Kibana. Type in the username and password you created for Squeal. Here you can see a convenient dashboard which shows a variety of charts pertaining to your data sources. This is populated with dummy data that was generated during the installation to simulate what it would look like if numerous alerts and bro logs were being populated in a live environment. Now let's open up Squirt. Currently, you can pivot an IP address from Squirt to ELSA. With this test implementation, you are able to pivot to ELK. Let's give that a try using the, one of the more prevalent IP addresses here in these alerts. Click the IP and click ELK. As you can see, it automatically searches for that IP address in Kibana. 
Let's narrow down our search to the bro HTTP index and GET requests in order to focus upon the malicious GET requests to determine if the nuclear EK IDS alert is a true positive. Index log stash bro 2017 0319 the timestamp and source IP is equal to 192.168.204.137 and syslog file underscore name is nsm bro logs current http.log click the arrow to show all the fields for this document so as you can see in this message field the malicious git request was performed to this host name for this resource. The response from the server was a 200 OK, which indicates success. This activity is from a PCAP of an infected host that was replayed on my VM's interfaces with TCP replay during the installation of ELK. Shout out to Doug Burks. Thanks a lot for making all of this possible. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel.